right. Well, we're here uh, at the last race of the uh, Indy Lights season, uh, Mazda Road to Indy, and uh, Stefan Wilson is sitting in uh, P2 at about, what, six or seven points margin? Yep, uh, seven points in front of uh, the establishment at Espen Guerrero um, at the Lake Soto Cup. So, uh, no, I'm, I'm really uh, pleased to be in that situation. I, uh, I start second in today's race. So. Right, you qualified well, so as long as you stay where you are, you're in good shape. Yeah, I mean, I'm just not going to think about it. You know, it's, it's not really, you know, I'm not really thinking about the championship today. I just want to win the race, you know, that's, that's really important to me. So, you know, we just going to do everything we can. And, uh, Well, I have some prepared questions, so uh, about five of them. Uh, last race of the season, what moment in your opinion sticks out as the most pivotal in bringing you to uh, the position you are now to maintain P2 for the season? Um, I think uh, an important race for me this year was, was Toronto. It was definitely a really good race for me. It was a break, break for race. I, um, you know, scored the pole there and had it taken away because uh, a, a yellow flag infraction. So it was kind of heartbroken to have that taken away, but um, in the end, in the race, we were able to get by the pole sitter and win the race. So that was a really awesome time. I love that track, love that city, and it's really nice to, to get a win there. And it's actually marked the, it the sixth or seventh year anniversary of when Justin won that and won his first American race. So that was really cool. And uh, then just two weeks ago in Kentucky, where I scored the, the second round point of the season. So and they're two really big races for my season, and uh, that's definitely helped me get into second place in the championship points. Um, how tough has it been being a one-car team when the field seems to be dominated by a score of cars from one team? In other words, Sam Spitt, Schmidt and his four cars. Yeah, it's um, it, it, it's definitely difficult being a one-car team. You know, you just have uh, less um, less information coming in and. You know, when you have four cards on it, it's like four different sources of information that you can tap into and it helps uh, move the team forward. But we haven't had that still. You know, uh, we've done uh, a good job. I think you know, the, the calendar, the, the schedule of races has, has affected our championship a little bit. You know, the, the Sam Schmidt guys are really dominant on the short, uh, short ovals, and uh, that being Iowa, Milwaukee, and Loudoun. And uh, they won all three of those races. So that really makes a difference. That car was uh, a little bit. Um, yeah. Our folks were a little bit weaker that, out of those events, and uh, that could as the championship. And, you know, I think the schedule, we only had one permanent road course on, on the calendar, and that's why I think uh, my European background and this team is, is really strong on. So if there'd been, like last year, four permanent road courses, you know, we might be looking at a different championship today. But, you know, uh, I'm really pleased to, to manage to get second in the points. And uh, we actually missed a race because of funding issues. Um, but uh, the good thing is that uh, the last two races we had Citizen V join us uh, as primary sponsor for my car. And that has really helped our efforts and, and helped us uh, get that second one last weekend. And hopefully, uh, and we'll have another race today. You mentioned Citizen Um What do they do briefly? Basically, they're a solo leasing company and uh, probably an, an energy company of the future. Um, they uh, they lease solar panels out to homeowners or uh, um, you know, commercial properties, and uh, you know then then uh, you, you lease the solar panel, then it comes you, you get free electricity from that solar panel. So it uh, offsets your electricity bills and it's being green and uh, you hear from it at the same time. So it's not very uh, very passionate about myself. Okay, um, I have a two-part question. That's like three A and B. Uh, what do you like most about racing in America? Um, I think uh, the great thing is just you know, the diversity. You know, we have short ovals, long ovals, street courses, and uh, permanent road courses, and that's really uh, it keeps you on your toes. It definitely makes you uh, very uh, rounded. You know, you, you get a lot of different experience. So that's that's really helpful, and uh, it's just a great atmosphere. You know, a lot of opportunities, and if you're a good driver, you get those opportunities. Whereas in Europe, you don't normally see that. You know, you have uh, sometimes it's not a politics. So. It's just a lot more fun environment to race in. It's more about the racing, and uh, this is why I like. I like racing in this world. And then 3B would be what you like least about racing in America. Um, I can't figure anything. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs>
Um, four. Uh, next season, uh, are your um, are your plans solidified? Um, if yes, what? If no, what is the plan? I, I'd say um, my plan is to, to be in the Indy Indy car um, umbrella of series. Uh, you know, whether that's Indy Lights or that's Indy Car. You know, I um, I think there's some great great opportunities for me and. Um, you know, especially with Citizen Re, I, uh, I hope that we can uh, come to some kind of agreement to, to join partnerships again for next year. And so really, it's, um, you know, I'd like to do any car, but at the same time, I wouldn't be against my Indy Lights again and trying to win the championship. Is there a possibility that you might be in Indy Car this next year? Uh, an outside possibility, yeah, an outside chance. Okay. It just depends on a few things. Um, but, uh, yeah, it'd be nice to race against uh, Justin, uh, against my Oliver and the Indy Car Series. That'd be fun. And I'm glad you mentioned it because that's my last question, and I know you get this all the time, but it's just, it has to be asked. Uh, your brother uh, is Justin Wilson. Uh, he was a champ car World Series breakout driver. Uh, he's also doing quite well in IndyCar, um, especially when his car's set up right. Um, the Wilsons are known for being very tall. Between you and Justin, who's the tallest? Uh, <laughs> that's always a tough question, you know. Uh, I think uh, now, I think I'm in fact the tallest. Uh, he actually, with his uh, recent injury to his back, he's actually a little bit short. So, <laughs> he, uh, he can now uh, be, frank, you know, be happy with his, uh, the shortest Wilson. Excellent. Yeah, so maybe we'll just put that one to rest. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's uh, something. Well, you have a great day and Thanks a great well. last race. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thanks a lot. Appreciate Thank your you. time.